everyone, it's me, Molly. Molly of the Nolly. Let's go. She's Molly of the Nolly. <laughs> Come along oh. with Molly. Molly. Who fills the fire we Come along with Molly. Molly. From Tundra to the sea. She's Molly of the Nolly. She's Molly of the Nolly. You should go first, Tabitha. Catch up to the others. No, you go. I'm the one who went off the course. But you were ahead. But you would have been ahead if you didn't stop. Here come John and Jay. You two okay? We're good. Molly stopped me from getting too far off course. Good thing she did. You could have ended up circling the entire hill. We're ready to get back in the race, guys. Tabitha should go first, since she was in the lead. It's okay. I want Molly to go. No, we should follow the rules. You first. You've already got space to turn your team around. But you were so nice to... Um, you know time is wasting, right? Somebody should go, right, Suki? <laughs> Okay, I'll go. Masicho, Molly. You're a great competitor and an even better cousin. See you at the campground. Hike! Ha! That was really nice of you, Molly. She needed help, Jay. And now that she's off, this team is ready to get back on the trail, too. I can see that. So stop talking and go get him. <laughs> John, you just try and stop me. Hike! Ha! Here comes the campground! Whoa, team! We're here! Whoa! Good running, team! Molly, you made it! I just got in a few minutes ago. You were really moving out there, Tabitha. So were you! Molly! Hi, Grandpa! Welcome to camp, girls! Are we far behind the other mushers? No, hardly at all. Really? Okay, quite a bit. But I'm proud of you both just the same. Is Elijah in the lead? Yes. He and his team arrived in camp, oh, a good while ago. That's okay. Tomorrow is another day. Well said, Segoya. Now, bring your team to the picket line. Don't worry, Suki. You're coming, too. Once they're fed and settled for the night, you can put your things in the cabin. And then dinner? <laughs> yes, dinner. See you around the campfire, girls. <sighs> That's it, Luca. Rest up. You earned it. <sighs> I can't decide who's more tired, me or my dogs. Suki's still got a lot of energy. <laughs> I'm going to get water for the dogs. See you in a little while. Hi, Molly. Just getting to camp now? Congratulations, Elijah. I heard you're in first place. My team likes to win. Right, Arlok? <coughs> win or lose, it's a lot of fun for us and the dogs. That's for sure. Of course, winning is a lot more fun than loot. See you at the campfire. I know you want to win too, Suki. But remember, Chewie's dad says... If you only worry about winning, you miss everything else. <coughs> Molly, do you read me? Over. Chewie, is that you? Where are you? Over. I'm still at home. Are you at camp? John and Jay said you're doing great. Well, I'm having so much fun, and your team is doing awesome. We all miss you. Are you feeling better? <coughs> A little. What's it like there? Right now, it's pretty quiet. Everyone's really tired, but we'll be gathering at the campfire soon. That's when Eugene Pike is going to speak. <clears throat> be sure to tell me everything he says, okay? Hey, maybe you won't have to miss it. If I keep the radio open, you can hear him for yourself. It'll be like you're right here with us. Oh, wow. I might even be able to ask him a question. Do you really think you could, Molly? <coughs> I know I could. Get ready to spend some quality time with your hero, Tui. Over at radio. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's 
ready for more hot chocolate. I'll take some, please, Grandpa. Can I have another helping of stew, Jay? Coming right up, Tabitha. And the other junior mushers still hungry? Ooh, I am. Me. me. I am. I'm always hungry when I race. One time, I ate so much after a long run, the button on my snow pants broke. <laughs> <laughs> I love having you here with us, Tui, even if it is just over the radio. You want to talk to him, Tabitha? Sure. Hey, Tui, you want some stew? <laughs> that sounds really good, actually. Hey, Tui. Can I have the radio? Sure. Tui, it's Elijah. Oh, um, hey, I heard you're in first place. Yep. You know, I had a bad cold before a race once. Did you have to drop out? I'd never drop out of a race. Here's Molly. Um, thanks. How are you feeling, Tui? Good. I'm just so tired. Just waiting for... <gasps> Beauty Pike. Then this seems like a good time for a campfire story. Yes! yes! Oh, yeah! Tell the one about how the lynx used to have a long tail, Grandpa. <laughs> Perhaps another time, Sugoya. I won't be the one telling the story tonight. Ah, here he comes. Pike, would you do the honor? I'd love to. It's Pike! Yay! Yay. Pike! Yay, yeah, you're Pike. Pike! Nice to see you again, Junior Mushers. Tui, you hear that? It's Eugene Pike. Uh, hello, everyone. Mr. Pike, can you tell us about one of your most epic races? One where you really crushed the competition? Well, Elijah, racing for me is not so much about winning as it is about something else called perseverance. Who knows what that is? Being fast? Well, not exactly. Sticking with it. That's right, Tabitha. Plus problem solving. Like a puzzle? I love puzzles. Exactly, Molly. You have to always stay alert and pay attention. What does the snow tell us? What does the air tell us? What are our dogs saying, especially our lead dog? Those are important clues on a long race. Mm-hmm. Totally. Do you have a story for us? I do, <laughs> uh, but it's not about me. It's the story of a musher I raced a long time ago. Her name was Elizabeth. Now, this was at a time when you didn't see many women racing. She must have been amazing. She is. Uh, however, she started that race as a big underdog. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of dog, Suki. An underdog is someone who nobody expects will win. That's right, Molly. Nobody gave Elizabeth any chance. Nobody but Elizabeth and her team, that is. They took off fast, and they were running great. I thought she was going to win the whole thing. Hey, hey, gosh, did she win the whole thing? Uh, no. Because about halfway through the race, everything started to go wrong for her. Through no fault of her own, every piece of bad luck that could possibly happen in a race happened to Elizabeth. Oh no. She encountered wolves. The bridge was washed away. And her sled even hit a branch buried in the snow. It broke the runner. <gasps> No one can race with a broken runner. Did she call for help? She was on her own and faced with a choice. Drop out of the race, abandon the sled, and walk her dogs back to the starting line, or find a way to go on. I bet Elizabeth didn't give up. You're right, Molly. She didn't. She was very brave and very determined. So she put her problem-solving skills to use and repaired her sled using some boughs she broke off of a tree. It wasn't perfect, and it took her twice as long to get to the finish line. But she made it. She must have been so mad! That sled falling apart cost her the race! Not at all, Elijah. In fact, when she came over that finish line, she received more cheers than any of us, even the winner. Who did win? A guy named Eugene Pike. It was my first big win. Uh, but Elizabeth was the real champion that day. She didn't let big challenges stop her, and she never stopped believing in herself, even when she knew she could never make up her time. 
That was the day I learned that winning is not always about coming in first. Now, is it too late for more moot stew? Tui, Tui, did you hear that? Wasn't Pike's story amazing? Do you have a question for him? Tui? Tui? Over? Hi, Molly. Tui fell asleep. I'm afraid he missed the whole thing. Oh, Tui, you miss Eugene Pike again! The Molly of Denali podcast was created by WGBH and Gen Z Media in partnership with PBS Kids and PRX. If you like what you hear, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. And for more adventures with Molly of Denali, check out the PBS Kids video app. She's Molly of Denali. She's Molly.